Anyone know who this guy is? Two of them rode over the Tasman a um, year or so ago, I think. James and his mate, uh, two Australian guys. Um, and they're in their 20s. Um, it was a real adventure. They were out there for 62 days. Um, and they were, I think it was over 3,000 kilometres they rode. Um, and, and this is what this guy had to say at the end of it. And I'll put this up here because I want you all to think about your businesses in this way. Honestly, if you can just think like this guy, um, you're, you're, you're making money. You will rise above a sea of sameness. You will take your business um, where it needs to be to be profitable. And I couldn't believe it. This is a 20-year-old kid who said this. He said, adventure is not about being the first person to cross an ocean or the first person to climb a mountain. Adventure is about going places you wouldn't normally go. It's about pushing your own boundaries. It's about what happens within. Treat your businesses like an adventure, um, and not only will it be exciting, but you'll get other people excited about it as well. Honestly, this is the key to this stuff. Not focusing on the competition, not worrying about markets. Forget the markets. I mean, you're going to cross boundaries. You know, banks are getting into insurance, insurance companies are getting into banks. There's no rules. I remember Tom, uh, uh, Ray McKim at, at Big Safe Furniture said to me a few years ago, um, when the airline, when the airline battles were on, he said uh, that's the worst thing that could happen is, is this trans-Tasman air battle for furniture sales. I said, what are you talking about, Ray? He said, well, when people are buying trips to Brisbane, they ain't buying sofas. You see, it's the same dollar. We used to sort of, our, we used to think our competition was the other furniture manufacturer. It's not. It's not. However, it's, it's look in the wallets. There is no competition. It's the same dollar in, in customers' wallets. That's the dollar we're after. I don't care whether you make sofas, fly aeroplanes or whatever. That's your dollar that's going to go somewhere. All right? So, so start to think about your business as an adventure and build it that way. Six secrets of the subconscious mind. Uh, sorry, the secrets. I'm going to flick these up. You'll have to buy the book, so ho hopefully you won't be able to... We're all control freaks. We find the devil in the detail. Everything occurs to us in context. Uh, first impressions count. Uh, we're predictive. Human brain is predictive. By the time I finished every sentence here this morning, you'd have finished it in your head. Uh, we search for analogies. We're born skeptics. Sequence has meaning. Everything we do is in sequence. Uh, we live for the moment. Who cares about tomorrow? Uh, we're all biased, whether we like it or not. Prejudices, that's the heuristic brain. We hunger for resolution. We're constantly being desensitised. And we love to gossip. Um, and the last one is... Um, we need to belong. So those are so what I call the 14 secrets of the subconscious mind. I'll just finish up with that little saying, Charles, um, Charles uh, Revlon, who was, uh, uh, Charles Revson, who was the founder of Revlon, said that, in the fact we make cosmetics in school, we sell hype. Okay, any questions?